Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Laurie Lyle with me. We've just beaten Sheffield United 5-0 at the Emirates. Now, let me just put a, a warning out there. If you want to reduce your brightness um, on your screen, because there's some diamonds blinging, but he's, he's, got, he's, got, the po he's, got, he's got the match. <laughs> Eddie and Ketia today, we might as well start there. Hey, listen, where else could you start? <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what, all jokes aside, um, I'm especially pleased for Eddie today. Um, what can I say for him? Three goals. People still doubt him, Lloyd. They're going to say it's Sheffield United. They'll yeah, say all of this, relax. And that's where I do, I must admit, I am a little bit irritated with some people for doing that. Because listen, he came in the team today. A lot of people was talking about Jesus being out, what a big miss he was going to be. And a lot of people were really doubting Eddie, mm. saying that even at, against Sheffield United, he probably weren't going to score. And look, Three goals, man of the match, match ball. What more do people want? Well, some people, people are trying to begrudgingly say, yeah, but it's only Sheffield United. Let's see him do it against Newcastle. Come on, man. Just put some respect on the man's name. But you, I hear what you're saying, and he took his goals very well today. But even I just had James on there, and he's still questioning if he would start. He wouldn't start Eddie Nketiah against Newcastle. But do you think after Hatchick, the player deserves to be the, number, the first name on the team sheet? Respectfully, James, I disagree. He's got to start. You know mm. what I mean? I mean, man scored a hat trick. What more do you want? <laughs> you know I mean? but it's against it's bottom of the league Sheffield United. Oh, that's what, that, that's what they're Not you as well. Oh, listen, I'm doing, what, well. I'm doing what's going to be being said. They're going to be saying this is a bit, ooh, a bit too far. So who for, do we start then? Who do we start? Some people are Jay saying, not going to be right. some people saying Trossard up top or they might put Havertz in there. Listen, Havertz? I, really? That's, come on, man. I agree. After a hat trick, you should, you, listen, you have to start um, Eddie and Ketia, but um, they might be styles that might be better for him not to start against Newcastle but after Hattrick I'm with you by the way but I'm just and it's saying not just the goals as well the man runs the channels well he leads the line holds the ball up well he does a lot of good stuff mm. he's not the most prolific I've said this on many occasions so people like you know what I mean let's be fair now because yeah, Turkish said, would say you've said you want to upgrade in that position yeah and let me explain that what I never said to get the baby out with the bathwater <laughs> what I said is we need to prioritize the striker position because we need to strengthen that yeah, I've been saying that since the start of the season mm. You know what I mean? But as far as Eddie's concerned, I'm really pleased for him. He's much maligned. Um, and listen, today was his day. I'm not saying it's going to be like this every week. Of course it's not. But let him enjoy his moment. Let the naysayers get off his back. And stop some of those people out there. They've been very begrudging. Now he's got his hat trick and he's won us the game. People are saying, yeah, but I want to see this against Newcastle. Of course we want to see him score against every team. But come on now, you know what I mean? But they are going to say, you said you want to upgrade in that position. They're going to say, so what, you want Eddie to be happy to be third choice striker. Is that what you're trying to say? Or are you just trying to say, while he's in, Jesus isn't in at the moment, let's just get behind him. Which no, I think no, what I'm saying is, Eddie is not the finished article. And you can go back and look at the transcripts, tapes, yeah. mate. I said that. He's not the finished article, but he is a good player. He does have a ceiling. I think he will get better. Mm. And I think over the season so far, he's shown that. I mean, do you not think he's a better player this season than he was last? Yeah, I think he's cut, it's a difficult ones. When he's starting, he's come in, when Jesus has been out, I think he's done what he needs to do. Unfortunately, I agree with you. He's not hit his ceiling yet. I don't, I don't no. think, and, but if I'm honest, I don't, I don't know if man like Turkey is saying, oh, but he's 24. I mean, 24 is a baby, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear that, but there is obviously young players that are I think dominating. People are this. getting this thing twisted because Jude Bellingham's doing great things at 19. Everyone thinks at 24, you're somehow old. No <laughs> way. You know what I, mean? I, hear, I hear what you're saying. Let's, let's, let's move the conversation on, on to the other players because I keep asking everyone this and I want to know your thoughts. Eddie, done amazing. Hat trick. You've got the ball. You've got, you know, you're happy for him doing the celebration. But any other players that came in today that you thought, OK, fair enough, you've, you've earned a right to knock on the manager's door or, or had a good performance alongside Eddie Nketiah today? Yeah, there were a few players that caught my eye. I thought Kivio was good today. Yeah. Um, I thought he looked decent. I thought Smith Rowe done well while he was on. Mm. Um, and I think he'll play again on Wednesday against West Ham. And listen, as I said before, the manager made changes. Um, it was the perfect storm. We got the result we wanted. No, no further injuries. And we move on to the next game. It was a great day to Okay, I want to I wanna push on a little bit because I know how much, you know, we're, we're, we're champing Eddie and Ketia here. But if Jesus is fit for Newcastle, does he start? <laughs> no, but he won't be, though. But if he was, mean. would you start Jesus over Eddie if he was fit? Well, yeah, I would because Jesus is... Even after a hat-trick, he just scored. Yeah, what I'm saying, I would start Eddie in the absence of Jesus. But if Jesus was fit and, and ready now, to listen, play? Um, Eddie scoring a hat-trick today is great for him, it's great for Arsenal, but it doesn't change the fact that Jesus is our senior striker. I'm not, listen, I'm not getting carried away. Okay. I just want to give the man his flowers because far too many people that. in the Arsenal fan base, some of them who are very close to AFTV, have sought to criticise Eddie 
at times, I think, unfairly. So it's only right now that the man scored, won us the game, scored a great hat-trick. I mean, look, look at the finishes today, man. Yeah. None of them were tap-ins, you know. They were all good goals. The third goal was a worldie. That, to me, and I said it on the stream, even the way he took that third goal, that shows a man that is confident, you know what I mean? His confidence is growing. He will become a better player. I'm very sure of that.